Hi guys, Manchester United won, Everton won, it home, it Old Trafford, another draw on the bounce in the Premier League after a tough game in the Champions League and I'm just here today guys to update you on what I thought of the match, obviously I was there at Old Trafford, how the fans were feeling around me in the stadium because guys it wasn't that all that positive today. I think the fans are getting a little bit frustrated and I think you can tell that by, I mean, people's views on Twitter. That's not always the views though, people's views in the stadium. And my views today, I don't want to be negative again, but you can't help it when you've drawing two games on the bounce in the Premier League against very average sides, in my opinion. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's start on a positive note. The goal from our side, I thought was a very well-worked goal. I thought Mason does really well to get the ball into Bruno. Bruno's no-look pass into Martial. Martial, he didn't do really much all game, but what a great finish from him. And I think that'll get his confidence up. And some people are questioning Ollie's selection on him, but I think he proved that he deserved to start with that goal. And it gets off to a good start after, to be fair... I think we started the game quite well. There was a few good passages of play. Aaron Wambasaka, I thought, came back with a real determination to prove that he is the right back for Manchester United. I mean, it's not hard because Dallo didn't have the greatest game against Villarreal, let's be honest. But Wambasaka was really pushing up and getting some passes together with Bruno and Mason down that right hand side. And the same on the left, really. Shaw was getting up and there was really good passages of play down the wings and with the full backs involved, which was nice to see because we often complain about not having a way of playing and not having a passage of play. But that was really good. The only criticism that I'd have on that is I wish Martial was taking them on a bit more I wish we were getting out to the wingers quicker and going at people you've seen in the Villarreal game and then again today I mean this is a weakened Everton side you don't need to be turning back and passing back with the ball you need to be going at them and the first thing you want to do is get at the fullback give him a test get at the keeper give him a test and I do think we kind of were a little bit slow in our build-up today which has been a running theme but a reason that could be is, I don't want to go too negative, I mean, I know my McFred vlog got a lot of views and it got kind of a lot of attention, but it's true, the McFred partnership, again, we're at home, we're at home against a weakened Everton side, you've got Raphael Varane in the team, who we thought was going to change the way we play, Pogba... He's going on international duty. You don't need to rest him. Donny crying out for more minutes on the bench. Even Matic. Even Michael Carrick at this point. But again, you're playing McFred. I can't get my head round it. And you know what? It's not even as if we played well. I've heard some people saying, oh, Fred did all right first half. Oh, he put one good ball into Cavani and made a couple of tackles. The rest of the game, he was getting absolutely bodied. He was nowhere to be seen. McTominay again... I don't know if he's just not fit and Ollie's rushed him back because he's basically his child, but he's he's not fit, guys. He's running so slowly. He's getting in the way of people passing. His passes were all over the show. I mean, I said it half time. I thought we were playing well. I thought we'd well to get a goal, but you needed to take um, McTominay off for Pogba. It was so, so obvious. We were missing someone in that midfield to break the lines and get the ball through to the attackers. Bruno, again, getting dragged out of position, coming either coming way too deep or being way too far forward in that far across the line, not making any movement. And it's just like, it's because we don't have a midfield. You're telling me the spine of the team is Fred and McTominay. And do you know what? When Fred got subbed off today, it's really not nice to see. But the crowd are cheering. The crowd are really happy about it. All game, everyone is so baffled as to why our midfield is low Premier League standard. It's not a good midfield pair. It really isn't. And the midfield is the spine of the team. And we can't go up the pitch. When Varane and Lindelof have the ball, I feel for them because Fred and McTominay are just not offering themselves to the football whatsoever. When you're a midfield player, your job is to trans- transition the ball out of defence, through midfield and into the attack. But that's not happening. The defence is just going straight to attack. It's getting bypassed. And then when they eventually do get the ball, I'm, I'm not scapegoating people, but for me, they are the reason we lost the game. Not lost the game. It feels like a loss. Drew the game again. It's because when they get the ball... We're either passing it back to Everton because they can't make a pass. Sancho or Martial is in miles of space on the wing, but Scott looks over. He knows he can't make that. He can't make that pass, so it gets passed sideways again. Sideways FC, and we're missing attacking opportunities. Pogba comes on, ball into Sancho. Sancho great ball into Ronaldo, nearly score. That's how simple it is. 
it starts from the midfield and we don't have a midfield and it's so frustrating and like we said it's not as if they're the only two midfielders fit you've got Donny van der Beek and Paul Pogba literally sat on the bench who could have done a miles better job today and Oli said he wanted to shore it up after Villarreal that is literally what he said in his press conference they got way too many chances transitioning from the defence into attack Oli Fred is the reason why we drew that game because he fair enough bad corner from Bruno but then Demar uh, Gray gets the ball Fred completely out muscled by him out muscled by Gray for Everton and Gray just skips past him again Fred light as a feather fifth or sixth time that game gets shoved off the ball on the counter attack and it's an easy goal for them they didn't have that many chances but the reason why they got the chances they did is because our midfield were just shoved off the ball and it's so frustrating to watch you need your midfield to be positionally aware strong ta- tackling be able to create play great passes and yes these are a lot of attributes you have to have as a midfield player but you're playing for Manchester United you should have these attributes and I'm just so sick of seeing Fred get pushed off the ball so so easily and literally get waltz past it happened in the first half as well and it happened twice he got waltz past twice and he was like, oh, like giving up in the midfield and they were nearly in luckily i think it was lindelof that made a great block but it's so frustrating because every time he gets the ball you you literally get scared that they're going to be able to counter attack so easily and that shouldn't be happening and with ollie saying shore it up in the midfield the thing is with that is that you need to go out at old trafford and try and score when you've scored a few goals that's when you try and shore it up, maybe bring Matic on, maybe go a tiny bit more defensive if you are worried about conceding. But starting off so negatively with two CDMs in your midfield against a weak Everton side, how do you expect to go and score and put the game to bed doing that? And that's why we struggled. Rafa knew what he was doing. He was going to try and frustrate us like most of the other teams have succeeded to do, force us to try and score late on, and that's it. try and get a late goal. Aston Villa did the same. Everton have now done it, and we've... And we've drawn a game again. We've drawn a game again. I mean, actually, we lost the Aston Villa game. We lost it. And now we've drawn. And it's just so frustrating because we're dropping points in the league. And and it's just really hard to look past because we should not be dropping points. And I do think the pressure is really getting on Ollie's back now because he's going to have to produce some points soon. And he can't do it, keep playing with Fred. Because I tell you, you can't kid the fans. And the fans can see that that is not the right midfield and we aren't playing the right way. We need quick, flowing football with passes around the box, but also getting it out to the wingers quickly. So many times Sancho could have got in, and he can be a great player for this club. He played When he came on today, he looked great, going at people, getting past people. You saw that pass into Ronaldo. It's so similar to the passes he was putting into Haaland at Dortmund. We need to get the ball quicker to him. If you get to it slow, they have time to get back in shape, and it's pass back FC. But no, get it in quick and we'll score goals. But like Ronaldo said, and Ollie shut it down, we need to pass quicker. Another thing, guys, that I just quickly wanted to add was Cavani and Ronaldo situation. I mean, I thought Cavani played well when he was on. I thought his running was great, his pressing was great, really, really pressuring the Everton defence and Pitford. And Pitford, by the way, was a great save to keep Cavani's goal out. And then he comes off, I think, around the 60th minute for Ronaldo. Obviously, Ronaldo's not going to be happy that he's being benched. And Cavani, after putting in that much work into the first half, isn't going to be happy he's coming off. So how all he's going to manage these forwards going forward, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. And then also, with the substitutions with the forwards, it was so clear that the midfield needed changing first, yet he made the forward subs. It, it, it really confused me. I did think it was the right substitutions. But it's either with Ollie with this midfield, it's either blind blind faith or it's either stubbornness and that and that's the only thing it can be because he must actually think that midfield's good if he's not changing it and then again De Gea keeping us in the game with with amazing saves that he did but guys honestly the look that we're having and again today with that goal the look start, it starts to run out it starts to run out when you keep doing the same things and expecting different results but anyway guys thank you